Hey there, True Believers. This is Bill Roseman, Creative Director at Marvel Games. And I'm Mike Jones, Executive Producer at Marvel Games. Lego Marvel's Avengers is a celebration of everything Avengers. It tells the story of the Avengers that, that you know and love from the films, from the first Avengers movie all the way up through Avengers Age of Ultron, and, and the, the stories in between. Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, Captain America Winter Soldier, as well as the extended universe things from TV. We're going to have Agent Coulson in there. We're going to have Agent Carter in there. We're going to have 100 new characters from the comic universe that weren't even in the first game. So it's this huge... It, celebration of the history and breadth and depth of the Avengers and teamwork and what it means to be an Avenger. Avengers is about different characters from different worlds, different backgrounds, different personalities, and oftentimes they clash. But when their backs are to the wall, when the Chitauri are raining down from the sky, when hordes of Ultron drones are crashing across the city, they stand together, they assemble, they fight back, they save the day. In these areas, you can take on special challenges, hunt down collectibles, and recruit new heroes to our cause. When we also just recently announced Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, Jane Foster, Thor, Squirrel Girl's in it, in case you missed that, and Stan Lee's gonna be playable again with his all new Stan Buster armor. He's got like a lamp and a pencil cannon and a typewriter that comes out of his chest and the mask has a mustache on it. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. You're going to be able to play in open world New York City again, just like you did in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Uh, but this time it's going to be different. There's going to be new iconic locations. Uh, there's going to be new missions. There's going to be new ambient characters that are around town, like Agent Carter, who you can find and talk to and flash back you know, to the 40s and do a mission where you know the light posts change and the cars change and the, and the visuals change. And you go back to the 40s and you do a mission that she's remembering. And there's also going to be uh, hubs around the world. You know, Age of Ultron went to Korea, went to Africa. Uh, we go to Washington. We go to Asgard, Thor the Dark World, and so there's going to be open world hubs to explore uh, beyond just New York City. So it's going to feel like a much more expansive sort of open earth, open globe that you can sort of globe hop around and, and find new characters and experiences that live in those locations that are associated with Avengers. Just wait until you are the Hulk leaping through all these environments. It's the coolest way to see all these awesome movies. Best way to travel. My favorite old school game. It's not a it's not a curveball, but it's a game I spent so many hours of my life playing, and I've met so many lifelong friends playing, which is Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2. I, I I took it seriously. I actually worked at Capcom for a while, um, and playing that game not only is it fun, not only is it was revolutionary, uh, but I I connected with people and I made friends that I still have today playing that game. Uh, and to bounce off that, I remember. Uh, awesome afternoons with my buddy Larry Gray who lived down the street and he had an Atari and we were like 12, 13 and the hours we spent playing Yar's Revenge to be a giant space fly getting getting your revenge for what we didn't know but we got that revenge so Yar's Revenge loved it. 